Lebo, you made the supercapacity here yes. yourselves, yes. didn't you? Yes. Is there, it looks quite, for something that's transparent, is, that looks quite complicated. What, what okay. are the key parts of it? Okay, maybe I, will, I can explain you in a simple way. Any, any supercapacitor, have, there are two basic electrodes. One is a current collector and the second one is an active electrode. In flexible supercapacitor, we need all this in flexible situation. For example, you can see here a flexible supercapacitor which we fabricated. Mm -hmm. So, what we did that we have a flexible substrate. So, on the top of a flexible substrate, we attached our current collector because the whatever the electrochemical reaction happening in the supercapacitor, the charge need to be can get out from this current collector. Mm -hmm. So, you can see here we have a current collector graphene sheet and then on the top of current collector, we have we need an active electrode. What we did that we synthesize our new material, it is based on a graphite polyurethane composite mm -hmm. and that composite we printed on the top of the current collector. Mm -hmm. So, we have here active electrode. The advantage of this material is that it is highly porous and also a rough surface is there and when an electrolyte, an electrolyte reacted with this surface, it have very hydrophilic in nature and then what happened is that when we applied uh, a potential, when we applied a potential between our two electrodes from the electrolyte positive or negative ions mm -hmm. depending on what uh, what voltage we applied. If it is a positive voltage here, negative ions from the electrolyte move towards that mm -hmm. electrode. If it is a positive ele negative electrode is here, positive ions moving towards there. So, this electrode from the electrolyte all charges are stored in this active material. So, from the current collector this will take out. So, uh, then it stores the charge you can see here when we have a uh, when we applied a potential the current is storing. Mm. On the active material. Okay. So I guess if we, so all of this comes down to this is yes. a cross section is cross of the supercapacitor. Yes. And what are the key layers in here? Here you can see here in this color you can see a substrate that is a flexible PET substrate, mm -hmm. and then here we have a graphene sheet. Okay. And then here we have a graphite polyurethane resin composite which we printed, mm -hmm. and then in between there is an electrolyte is there. Okay. okay, and th is th currently we are used here phosphoric acid H3PO4 mm -hmm. and then a separator because this electrolyte we need to uh, ions need to be passing through this LIS. So, okay. we have a separator here and a similar way opposite side, side also. So, what you so what you are saying is that the um, you, there, there are equal sort of halves and the, the key bit is the electrolyte in the, in the middle? Is yeah, that right? electrolyte is in the middle. So, okay. electrolyte is touching on the surface of the electrode. What happened is that we have a two electrode as I mentioned you, one is on graphene electrode here, another graphite, similar graphite electrode is on the top also. So, when we have an electrolyte is here, when we applied a potential, the positive ions or negative ions moving across the membrane and touch on the surface of the electrode. So, in both sides electrodes uh, ions one side negative ions on one side positive ions on other side are attached here. So, and then that ions are stored in the surface of the electrode. Lovely. All right. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. Okay.